From the 33 on first down, it's cut. And he will lose yardage on the play by Jay Sanders right there. 64. <laughs> you had his poster on your wall. <laughs> You're right, I did. <laughs> the second regular season start for the Rams also started a playoff game two seasons ago. The Seattle game, Shannon referenced. And Ooh. that pass is deflected, broken up. Cardinals Rams tied at three. First and goal. Here is Potter. Takes oh. it in for an Arizona touchdown. Now watch the left sides. They do a tremendous job, and the center do a really good job of blocking. They go and get that double team, open up the hole. Man, you don't, you can't ask for anything better than that. Wolford now eight of fourteen. He's hit. Oh. Ball comes loose, picked up at the thirty-yard line, but now a whistle. Ooh. Play was blown. Let's down. take a look at that. That's my J Sanders coming off the edge. My J Sanders, the bottom of your screen is going to come right off the edge. Oh. DeAndre Hopkins has been all over the place. So one spot, two spot, wherever you need him to be. To the end zone. Oh. A.J. Green makes the catch. Spectacular for a Cardinals touchdown over David Long in the corner of the end zone. A.J. Green at one point was one of the top two, three receivers, and his both feet are in. Two, two, three receivers in the NFL. He had some tremendous days in Cincinnati. Comes over to Arizona. And he has done that so many times. Look at the body control, the awareness, both feet inbounds, controls the football all the way through. That is a phenomenal catch. From the Cardinal, of course. Akers this time gets swallowed up. Back at the 32 yard line. I'm surprised that McVay hasn't gone to a different offensive guy knowing that he could be a decoy. Second down and eight. Wolford wrapped up. Down he goes. J.J. Watt with the sack and the celebration. Down here in the red zone. First and goal. That's exactly what he does. And he loses yardage as Isaiah Simmons comes up to make the tackle. Nice job. Isaiah Simmons reading the scouting report on Bryce Perkins. From the 28, McCoy fires, and it's caught. Nice adjustment made by DeAndre Hopkins, who takes it into Rams territory. Here's McCoy on fourth and three, looking for Rondell Moore, and Moore oh. makes the catch. Wow, a spectacular catch. What a catch by Rondell Moore. Gets right behind David Long. Beats him off the line of scrimmage. Look at the concentration. One hand. Moore with nine receptions today. Here's Connor. Cuts to the outside. Already has a touchdown today. He dives. And he's in. James Connor. Into the end zone for the second time. Let's take a look. Gets around David Long. Both feet still in bounds. Stretches across the pile, and that is a touchdown. Powell was getting a little more action today, so good to see him get that reception. Oh, this pass picked off. Yes, he's playing this afternoon. Buda Baker across midfield, inside the 40, down to the 30. Finally tackled by Henderson at the 25 yard line. <laughs> And here's Buddha right there on your screen, top right. And what's going to happen again, Wolford, he's having issues inside the pocket, just not accurate, just flat out not accurate. Ben Skoronek tries to jump for it. You see it's behind him. Isaiah Simmons makes a fantastic play to beat that ball out. And Buddha Baker, very opportunistic. Now, I'm just amazed. He's running full speed, no limp anywhere, looking like a running back slash punt returner trying to score a touchdown. Running in Sean Harlow with the field goal set up. This Cano's kick is good. Season does not end after eight games, but it's getting pretty dire for the defending champs as they will drop to three and six with the loss today. Yeah, he was very candid with us, and what I liked what he said was.